Now in this video uh, I'm going to be showing how I build uh, the side windows that will be next to the door of my yurt. Um, my mother's yoga teacher just uh, bought a yurt so I took the chance to visit her and, um, and to check out how it is, how it looks and, and how it's constructed mm -hmm. and everything. It's super super nice, um, looks like this. So as you can see like with the side windows it gives an amazing like light and openness to the, to the space and that is why I decided to build these uh, side panels. So enjoy the video! So here we have a finished window and now I will show you the process how I made one. Uh, First time I've ever built a, a window, so it was quite an interesting adventure. And now that I know what I'm doing, I can uh, show you. So here we have the window. This is a double glazed uh, glass window that I got out of a second hand website. Um, it's 60 centimeters wide and 133 centimeters tall. I first got the windows and then I started designing and I got these two uh, for 10 euros. So that's really, really cheap. And they are really heavy and I just used this little Ikea card, which you see there. Here we are with the frame. Uh, I decided to attach it with a um, piece of wood through here to here. Uh, one on the bottom side, uh, which is going to be this, and two on the top side, because the top side is going to get more pressure. And um, I'm using this 12 millimeter, like stick with a profile it's like this one so you get with the ikea furniture usually put it in like this so i have bought this special huge ass drill bit so i can easily get through okay
Now I'm going to measure where the middle plank uh, is support will come. So I'm going to put uh, the window inside and mark it off. Now I will start on this part. Um, this is a one centimeter thick, uh, like stick, and these are ten centimeters wide planks. So I got these two sticks cut to size, so they're the same thickness as the planks, and now I will nail them in place. So keeping some distance here because when you put it too close to here you have the chance the wood will rip. Now I'm going to put these planks in here. And the first one, it's the most difficult one. I just attach them with nails. Now I'm going to attach this plank, it's going to be the support and support for the window and I will attach it in the same way as I did the bottom and the top. Now I will be uh, putting the window holders up. So this is the, the side that will be on the outside. Uh, which means this side will be facing the window. Which means that this side is the one that needs to be um, cut. After uh, cutting them, I attach them with uh, nails, and this is going to be the front side. Um, so I'm putting it really flush to to this, so I can later seal it, and the water of rain and whatever can just like flow off. And as you can see, the nails that I put in here are on the inside. So it's less of a water hazard. 
now I need to do the outside first and then make uh, put the window in here Now it's time to install the window, which I think is one of the most satisfying parts of building this whole thing. Oh, but they are pretty heavy. So. So this is the inside uh, side and then I pr press it uh, quite strongly, firmly against the window. The window is all in and now just gonna sand this all even. Now as an extra reinforcement, I'm gonna put these uh, huge screws like like this to sure. make it a little bit more sturdy. And now uh, I'm going to impregnate the entire door with linseed oil. I'm going to put uh, two layers on. Uh, this one needs to dry um, for uh, like an hour or so. And then I'm going to wipe it all off. Leave it for at least a day. And put the next uh, layer on. And you can, you can actually see the wood soaking it up. That's really nice.
this window had now two layers of linseed oil. Uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer that uh, or warning that I forgot to say about before. So when you use linseed oil, that um, that you really take care that you put the the rags like folded out or you throw them away while they're wet in a container or anything because the drying process creates heat, uh, which might cause uh, like uh, that it goes up in flames so i use paper towels that uh, just put them in some water and uh, like in a cup of dog food of my dog yes and here i have a little cup of soapy water for my finger some silicone and now i'm going to seal the window close up of, um, of what I did so as you see I really made sure this is the outside that it's it's filled up the, um, the spaces like here in between here and the window in between this one the window this one's quite um, far apart which is because this uh, piece of wood is slightly <laughs> uh, out of shape so here it's 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 flush again just up there it was a bit uh, it's a bit loose there we go so here and I put a little bit of um, silicone on the nails as well on the holes of the nails so it's really like the danger points of where water can seep through and afterwards I'm going to clean all this residue here off when it's dry it's way easier <laughs> 